So there's this video of an eight-year-old kid on Instagram doing stand-up comedy. And, you know, it's an eight-year-old, so obviously you can expect it's very, very bad. Let's watch a little bit of it. I don't mean to brag, but I'm the best Lego builder ever. Funny. If you don't believe me, I even have a room dedicated to Legos. Wow. I built Star's Millennium Falcon, Harry Potter chess set, and a tricked out Bugatti. What color is it though? And when my parents aren't looking, I sprinkle the smallest Legos on the floor and wait for them to step on them. So it makes stop me stop there giggle. Um, for all parties involved. Um, horrible, bad comedy. But let's see what the comments have to say about this. Don't quit your day job, little bro. The fuck off the stage. Bro, someone robbed this guy's lunch money. This is why you don't tell your children they're funny. I've attended funerals funnier than this little nut stain. And bro, build more Lunchables than Legos. Go back to your little chocolate factory, little midget. And the worst one of all, I've seen girls funnier than this. Ah! They're killing him. They're killing this this child. Um, and this isn't a one-time thing. Um, there's this new, I don't know if I should call it a trend or phenomenon, but Instagram comments hate children. And it just goes over and over and over again. And I've collected some of the funniest examples of this where a kid posts something, like an eight-year-old child posts something, and for whatever reason, it gets like 10 million views and all the comments just terrorize the child. It's hilarious. So let's begin. I heard if you use this sound, you will get a lot of likes, but creepy comments. A lot of likes, but creepy comments. This post did have 500,000 likes. So let's see what the comments are like. Your uncle is coming back to tickle your pickle. And my, mind you, there were worse ones than what I'm going to show you guys. Um, but I, I literally, for the sake of my channel, could not post them. But they were along this line, but worse. I'm a shit on your doorstep, lil n-word. I'm a shit in your chimney. I sent ten white vans towards your house. Kia Soul. The Kia Soul one is, is the worst one by far. Who drives a Kia Soul? I spit in things like you. And, and as I said, the comments were, were even worse than that. But for the purposes of our own mental sanity, we're going to keep it at that. Next up. Having a girlfriend is cool, but, but, imagine a random kid idolizing you. You know, it's like a 10-year-old posting his gym progress, and let's see if the comments are supportive of this. Nobody is idolizing you, lil' bro. Your mother hates you. Go read a book, lil' bro. Never post anything like this ever again in your entire life. It's going to stay in your imagination. Damn, it's yeah, it's really bad. But what happens when um, a kid tries not to be strong, but tries to be smart? Let's see. Honestly, I just want to help mankind reach closer to the stars. So That's nice. basically it for Ivy League schools. I mean, if I if I have to go there for what I want to do, Facts. then I will. But if I don't need to, then that's a waste of time and money. All right. So a kid, a child, talking about his hopes and dreams and what he wants to do in life. Surely the comments are supportive. Valedictorian at Chatterbox University. <laughs> Don't step foot in eastern Vermont. You ain't doing shit, bro. Get your money up, not your funny up. We got the mayor of Yaps. <laughs> Also, there's this new trend that's been popping up recently about yapping. Whenever someone talks for more than, like, five seconds, they're like, oh, he speaks Japanese. I, I like this trend. It's funny. And then someone said, don't ever step foot in West Yorkshire. It's, it's good advice. Don't ever go there. And someone just commented this. <laughs> the nerd emoji is one of my favorite things of all time. Um, someone wedgie this NGA. I don't know what NGA means, but maybe it means not good... Al, Alfred, not good Alfred. Um, yap, 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 show me a band now. I respect it. I really respect that because, you know, why, why should children um, talk about their hopes and dreams? Just make money. Um, next up. Oh, this one's bad. Oh, this one's so bad. 
Rip, my friend, I've been eagerly waiting to see you when you grow up. <sighs> this one's bad, just, just a little bit of a warning. That, <laughs> that guy's pregnant. That was a top comment, by the way, 40,000 likes. He had enough chicken. Um, Africa is starving because of this guy. I told his ass to stop sipping lean too much. Ooh. Bro stole the harvest. He stole the harvest. But um, the horrible comments don't stop at children. Let's see what a recovering gambling addict has to say. Didn't gamble yesterday. Yes. Didn't gamble today. Won't gamble tomorrow. He's making it out of the throes of a gambling addiction. Isn't that nice? Want to bet you won't gamble tomorrow? <laughs> Top comment, again. Legend has it, tomorrow is the day you win big. Bro is missing out on a gazillion dollars. Think of all the money you could be making right now. Stop being a clown. Literally, all it takes is one. One good bet and you're, you're way back in the positives. You're just a quitter. <laughs> Winners don't quit and quitters don't win, even when it comes to gambling. You look miserable without gambling in your life. And then someone just commented a gif of the hypnotizing thing. Ooh, you want to gamble more? It's 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 insane out here. We got two more. Um here's here's another pretty bad one. So this kid posed a question to his uh huge audience. Okay, when I hit 50,000 followers, I'm going to do a dare and record it and whatever the top comment on this video is, I'll do it and record it and post it. Okay, so he just said, give me a dare, whatever the top comment is, I'll post it. An 11-year-old, probably. Top comment, 435,000 likes. Say the N-word. Sure, 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 sure. Smoke crack. <laughs> Kiss a jacked black man in front of your dad. Great one. We've all thought about it. I mean, yeah. Last one. Oh, this is the worst one. I saved the worst for last. My GG passed away. It's hard. It's a child crying about his, his dead grandmother, I would assume. And you know the number one rule of the internet, don't post yourself crying because it's not ever going to go well. Womp, 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 get some bands. <laughs> Top comment, again. We rolling Gigi in the blunt, lil. <laughs> she went to hell. Womp, womp, all the tears ain't going to get her back. I'd be crying too if I was that broke. Shit, tragic new paddock, granny folded, now the casket automatic. At least, at least he got some new material for his, um, his rap career. So it's not all a sad ending. But this is going to wrap up today's iteration of evil Instagram comments. I don't know what it is. Instagram used to be the place where people were nice. TikTok and Twitter was where people were evil. But I think the evil is taking over Instagram, which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I thought it was very comical. Let me know what you think about it. Rest in peace, Gigi, obviously, and that fat guy. Um, but with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe Because he needs more money